So much of these vocab questions is just about noticing the right part of the sentences that you're going to use to get the answer. So if we take a look here, don't get all caught up in the name and the, and the, and the name of the protozoan. Uh, in a 2019 study, this person and his colleagues found that single-celled protozoa not only use strategies to escape irritating stimuli, but also it switches strategies when one fails. So um, maybe that's helpful. It uh, uses strategies and switches strategies. This evidence, here we go, this evidence of protozoans sophisticatedly changing their minds demonstrates that single-celled organisms may not be limited to, okay, so there's a contrast here. All right, so first of all, you got to notice the word sophisticated in here. It's weird. Why are we throwing in an adjective? So anytime I see adjectives, I'm like, oh, they might matter. A lot of the time, that's how we get the meaning of the vocab word that's in the blank, is we think about some adjectives and descriptions that are adding a little bit more to the story. Uh, those are usually the words that we are going to base our answers off of. So then it's saying it's not limited. So it uses sophisticated behavior. So they are not limited to unsophisticated, unsophisticated behaviors, right? So, so notice it is a contrast, it's a little sneaky, but if, if you got to notice those kinds of things. So be careful of words that kind of, you know, negate things like a word like not, right? So that's another word that you need to notice when it, it's there. It's not as uh, um, interesting or as loaded as a word like sophisticatedly, but it is still important for understanding the meaning of the sentences. It flips things. So now we're looking for a word that means unsophisticated, and this is very easy. Uh, the word rudimentary is absolutely an SAT word that you must memorize. It will come up in lots of places. It means unsophisticated. It means basic or simple um, in the sense of like uh, not complicated. Um, a lot of times we might talk about cavemen Back in the ancient times, using rudimentary tools, very basic, you know, maybe like a hammer or something that's not got a lot, doesn't have moving parts or anything like that. So it's a very uh, useful word. Um, it can be negative. Um, it's not like super negative, but um, it can be. Um, but it is something that you should understand the meaning of right away because it will come up. Uh, just to go through some of the other words here, we definitely have a, a positive word, like an advantageous um, but then that's going to flip with what they're trying to say here. So they, it's good that they're being sophisticated in this case, and it's uh, bad that we thought that they were unsophisticated, right? So that's the neg negative. So advantageous is the wrong connotation. Um, evolving is, I guess, positive in this sense, because that's what the rest of the pa paragraph is saying, is that they're using complicated behavior. So um, we're trying to contrast with that, and evolving kind of suggests the current meaning. Um, and then aggressive just is kind of random. Obviously, that's negative, but it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. They're not like, um, it, it's not really about them attacking things or killing things. So this is just way too kind of narrow and specific for what we're talking about. We just don't have any evidence of this word. So rudimentary, we do have evidence for. It's a clear contrast. So make sure you notice those things and memorize a word uh, like rudimentary so that you know how to use it when you see it again.